Um, I have watched um, some yoga instructional thing mm -hmm. that was done by this woman. I forget her name. Mm. She's white, mm -hmm. and she did it somewhere in Gong, mm -hmm. and she calls it Maasai yoga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Masai yoga. <laughs> so, Mia, do you know the reason why I actually watched was yeah. what is Masai yoga? By the way. <laughs> really? But so she goes, she lives with these guys, mm -hmm. she does yoga, then mm -hmm. she looks at how she can improve a few things. Mm -hmm. And then she starts naming mm -hmm. the Kawa Asanas mm -hmm. that we know, but she gives them she gives them a Masai connotation and she makes Masai yoga and she makes a lot of money. <laughs> Like, but as guys have just been seated here, yeah, you know. I mean, we, we are so hue yeah. and cry about yeah. people are you know exploiting us, people are, but I don't think we're even like scratching the surface of our own potential. No, no, we haven't. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and people are not even willing to, to, yeah, people are not willing to step out of their comfort zones and 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 do something unscripted. They are, they are dependent on the script a bit too much and they don't want to step out of the script or use the script but to create that, that something we are saying that is different. Yeah, everyone just wants to be in the script as long as I graduate and get my credits and get that degree and have that nice office, uh, that's all I care about. But I don't really care about the impact I have because this country is vast. For the places that have been, this country is vast and the mental health need is huge. It is catastrophic. It is catastrophic. It is huge. But we are all concentrated in one spot. Called Nairobi. Yeah. <laughs> and and I'm always frustrated when I, when I meet somebody who needs help. And maybe because I'm somewhere else, yeah. that person will go not assisted because nobody has dared to go to that place. Do you think the board will fix that? So we have a new board, yes, yeah, I need to know yeah. Do you think the board will fix that? I hope they will. I hope they will come up with a way that mandates people to have at least, for example, if you're in a university that gives you three opportunities for internships, one of them has to be mandated by the board in a rural setting or in some strange setting not your typical setting the other two you can you can choose typical settings but for this one you need to go somewhere just yeah. yeah you need to just go and and find your way yeah. and come tell us what you found that this is you it see? so you know for the board to be able to hold people accountable mm. but to also like you said you know mm -hmm. um, mandate people to trickle down, mm. get out of Nairobi, mm. go down to the level of those people who are in the villages, mm -hmm. to those people who are in the, you know, mm. um, uh, settlement areas, mm. all the, uh, just, yeah. you know, and, and get support from that. Yeah. You know, now the whole board and, you know, mm. the psychology board mm. and, you know, the Ministry of Health, mm. I mean, for me, I'm feeling so hopeful and optimistic. Yeah. Because... You cannot separate mental health from physical health. No. There's only health. There's, There's only no, health. Yeah. You know, akuna, akuna. you cannot say this one is important, this one is not. They have to be aggregated. Yes. You know, only that they are attributed to different people. Mm. Like, I met a guy, mm. his speciality is just fingers, mm. not even the hand. Mm. I'm like, Dude, are you serious? He's yeah. like, yeah. Mm. That's what he does, that's what he knows, yeah. and he's brilliant at it. Yeah. But there's no single day he'll tell you, by the way, these fingers, without the hand, ah, you'll be fine. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He understands that, you know, they are all correlated, yeah. but his concentration is this. Yeah. But he appreciates why, you know, the rest, you know, yeah. so, yeah, this thing of, I think we just need a, just a shift in how we think about mm. mental health and mm. get out this uchawi and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Kurogwa ah, yeah. and, and, and yeah, also yeah, some people yeah. say it's God's punishment and yeah. some people say it's Mashetani mm. and curses and uh, you know I've never had anybody who has gotten a heart attack or diabetes and said you need paper. Mm. 
No, no, no. That those those myths have already been debunked, you know. So but for us, there, they were there, but those people in that those professions, mm -hmm. the doctors and the nurses and everybody, have worked their way out of those myths. Yeah. So for us, it's to stand in front of that church after the service is over in the village, after debunk one myth about mental health something that people are talking about that is your impact you know there are very i believe there are very many opportunities for debunking mental health myths visiting a school in your village talking to children about you know stigma of people with mental uh, yeah. illnesses and and kids are very adaptable if you talk to them about mental health and why this person behaves the way they they will understand and in their in their in in their level and you'll have lessened the stigma of mental health on those who suffer from it yeah. and and right now the, the the numbers of people struggling with mental health are only going to get bigger